Motors announces a drop in earnings. So despite having nothing on the lots except some pickups and making you wait months for a car that they pick out, you have to get whatever you get allocation for and you don't necessarily get the options you want, their earnings have dropped. Clearly they're doing something wrong. I, to me it looks like it's on the production side. So for this report, Toyota has a decrease in net income of 12.5 billion. And that's for one quarter. So in the Toyota motor world, Toyota runs a fiscal year that ends the end of March. So right now we're actually in Toyota's fiscal 2025. So when they're talking second quarter, uh, this ended September 30th, 2024, but that was second quarter 2025 for Toyota's financial reporting. And then they have Toyota Motor Corporation and they have Toyota Motors North America uh, that, that basically run the same. So they change around if they're talking fiscal year, calendar year, and they change around if they're talking about Toyota Motors Corporation or Toyota Motors North America. So good times even trying to understand them because there is uh, a bunch of irregularities, I guess, and well... I guess you can't say irregularities because it's all that would be a accounting term, and they uh, have gone out of their way to make sure everything is legal and in line. But it uh, appears to be irregularities when you try to understand it, and it appears as if they jump back and forth. But long story, even longer. Uh, let's look at uh, their sales. So the vehicle sales for North America, so United States, decrease of thirty-seven thousand units. When I go to dealer lots, there's absolutely nothing on the lots. There's trucks and there are like demonstrators, like some vehicles they've kept that they're having people try out. Talk to some people that have bought vehicles. And for the most part, you get on a waiting list. Somebody calls you and say, we've got an allocation for this vehicle that's you know, somewhat close to what you wanted. Do you want it or I'm going to call the next person on the list? So maybe the dealers are the ones making the money and not Toyota themselves. But with that sort of uh, limitation, somebody's making the money. And with that sort of limitations, I mean, build some more vehicles. You would have sold them. You would have made the money. So uh, North America dropped in sales, and so did Japan. So Japan's down 133,000 units. Uh, Europe is up 10,000 units. Asia's up 10,000 units. And they have kind of this all other category with a decrease of 17,000 units. The financial services section of Toyota, so like Toyota Motor Credit, I believe is what they call it, their uh, income increased by 58 million to uh, $2.2 billion. So they're doing pretty much okay on the financial services side. And even on all of it, I mean, they're doing okay. I, it's just that they're a little bit of a drop from where they were. So Toyota's doing okay, and if they actually kicked out some vehicles, they would uh, be doing a lot better. The number of vehicles produced, so they're talking for fiscal year ending March 31st, 2025. So F25 that we're in right now, they're looking at 9.4 million units. For the uh, oh, world vehicle economy, we really need Toyota to get as close to 10 million units as they can just to keep prices, I guess, affordable. When production drops, that's when that supply demand kicks in and things get more expensive. So if Toyota can kick out at least 10 million vehicles a year, which sounds crazy high, that is uh, the best we can hope for for our uh, supply demand so that we have vehicles, vehicles available, ready to go. But... As we know, the, everybody has trouble. So there's been some issues with shutting down production lines with part shortages. I, the Toyota, the Toyota way, whatever you want to call it, um, the Toyota production system, a lot of that is reducing inventory levels. And things happen when you don't have enough inventory on hand. This is vehicle sales 
This is uh, what good car, bad car dot net. U.S. sales last month. So in 2024. So F-150, they've been doing some incentives. Uh, Ford has been doing some work to get their vehicles moved because they were sitting on so many. So up 26%, year to date, 687,000. The RAV4 was, I mean, did crazy well last year. But I mean, there's no RAV4s on lots. So it's, I think the demand's there, just the vehicles aren't there. CRV's done a little bit, but see like the Camry's up a little bit, but I mean, that's just because they built more of them. Uh, I think at this point, anything Honda has would sell. There are, well, maybe that too, but I mean, anything Toyota has would sell. Saying the wrong one. Um, I mean, Toyota Corolla down almost 20%. I mean, that's that's just a production issue. They must be building more Camrys and less Corollas because they make more off Camrys because they're more expensive. I'm not sure. Uh, a bunch of the other ones is up. Uh, the Tacoma is up. Uh, that's hard to believe because there's so many on lots. Although it does seem like they're changing. I see the Tacomas as a, as their um, the ones on the lot are changing like they're, they're getting new ones in getting old ones out Toyota 4Runner drop I mean that's crazy but I, I haven't seen a single 4Runner I, I haven't seen a single new 4Runner other than the ones that are uh, like demonstrators so I, that's got to be production issues maybe people want to order them they're afraid to put them out on lots I have seen where car companies will be afraid that something's not going to sell, so they won't even put it on the lot. But to me, a car is, I mean, not truly an impulse item, but if you see it, you're more likely to buy it. I, I mean, buy it kind of a lot. Um, Toyota Highlander, I mean, that's a pretty big drop. That's one of them made in the U.S., so I'm not sure why that'd be such a drop. It's got to also be a production issue. Grand Highlander, there was a, a stop sale on that. There was some kind of issues with those. Because that's, that's also, that's, that's not from lack of demand. A 91% drop for the Grand Highlander. I mean, that's crazy. Ford Mustang. Oh, the mach -E is separate, though. So a lot of these that have dropped is production issues. But there's, I mean, there's still a lot of vehicles being sold. Oh, see, Land Cruiser is up, but that's because that's a new vehicle. The Land Cruiser is really nice. That's definitely something to take a look at if you're in a, in looking for a vehicle like that. The BZ4X, that's pretty low across the board. So Toyota's definitely selling vehicles. Their profits are down. But it's, it's not demand-oriented. It's just that they can't get those vehicles put together. I'd really like to see Toyota get their, you know, get their game going and uh, fill those lots. Because here's Toyota. This is a day supply. This is Cox Automotive. Toyota's at 36 days supply. So 36 days supply, I mean, that's, that's basically getting a truck to the lot and the thing's sold already. Um, I mean, like Ram over here, 153. Yeah, that's bad. I would think 60 days is probably where you want to be. If you start getting over that, it's you know starting to be a problem. I mean, sort of like Porsche for the high-end vehicle. They they don't have very many cars in the lot, basically, and, and they don't have that many models. It's not you know Toyota, Chevy. Some of these have just tons of different models. And then Subaru is starting to push it a little bit, but they've been doing some changes. But as you get up higher, yeah, that's bad. To have that many days supply like Genesis I mean that's pretty high end infinity I mean Jeep's pretty high Buick's pretty high but uh, where Toyota's at 36 days supply they they just aren't getting the vehicles built they're not getting them to dealer lots if there was a selection on the lot and they produce some of the more affordable vehicles their their profits would be up there they'd be able to sell all those vehicles and then some so Toyota just needs to figure out their parts supplies and get their plants running and try to kick us out at least 10 million cars a year. And then, yeah, if Tesla ever gets there, I, 
get their factories all going to full speed. They had talked about hitting 10 million cars a year at one point. So if we can get uh, Toyota and Tesla hit 10 million cars a year each, then we should be able to bring the prices down to more reasonable level because there would be enough cars and lots to actually be able to get people what they want. Because a lot of these are just high-end. Well, maybe not Volkswagen so much. Well, but like Volkswagen, I mean, you go to a lot, and it's all those Atlas SUVs just crazy big. You know, there'll be like maybe one or two Golfs and one or two Jettas. And they, um, those are Tiguan or whatever their smaller SUVs are, maybe a few more of those. But it's the stuff that's sitting, the stuff that's driving these days up is the uh, more expensive items. So try to get your production going, and then you'll be doing a lot better. Profitability will come back. It'll be like um, uh, General Motors. They're, they're doing very well there. They're producing some reasonably priced vehicles, and they're getting their production going. So Toyota needs to get their house in order so that uh, our vehicle prices are a little more reasonable. That's all I got. Thank you.